Madami. Hindi, tumak muna kami pamunta dito. Pakiyat. Sikip nga sa daanan. Pati mga bata ay eh, liyabog sa kanilang mga bato. Well, thousands of residents in the Philippines have been ordered to evacuate their homes after a volcano began spewing ash into the sky. Seismologists say the Tal volcano could erupt any day following a series of earthquakes, rumblings and magma flows. The Tal volcano lies just 65 kilometres south of the Philippine capital Manila, which has closed its airport due to huge plumes of ash belching from the volcano. The clouds have been generating volcanic lightning too. Ashfall has made roads travel dangerous in nearby towns. School classes have been cancelled and residents have been advised to stay indoors and use masks. For more on this, we're joined by uh, DW correspondent Anna Santos in the Philippine capital, Manila. Hi, Anna. What's the situation where you are now? The government has raised the alert level to four out of a five Point scale, and they're warning of a hazardous eruption that may come within the next hours or days. And classes have been suspended in areas in Metro Manila and around the towns around the volcano. Also, all flights have been cancelled. On social media, citizens who live here in Manila, which is about 40 miles away, have been posting photos of ash fall that has collected on their cars, their windows, and on their homes. It is really a very tense situation right now. Anna, tell us what's happening closer to the volcano. How uh, dangerous is the situation there? So Jared Dahl sits uh, on a lake, you know, it's surrounded by a body of water and seismologists had warned of possible volcanic tsunamis. So these are surges that may come about when, you know, a volcano spews boulders or large fragments into a body of water. I spoke to a resident from a nearby town around Taal and she told me that right now they're very scared, they're very tense and anxious. The Al Volcano is making its presence felt to them in every possible way. They see clouds of smoke coming from the volcano. They feel its tremors through the earthquakes. And they continue to hear rumblings from the volcano all throughout the day. And as I had spoken to her just a few minutes ago. So these residents, for these residents, it's not going to be easy to sleep through the night. Anna, could you talk us through what the Philippine authorities are doing? How prepared are they if the situation gets worse? 
Taal Volcano is the second most active volcano in the Philippines. And as early as March last year, the seismology office had already been monitoring it for its activities. It was already showing rumblings, you know. So, and uh, the Philippines is certainly not a stranger to natural disasters. We're one of the most natural disaster prone areas in the world. And now all of the disaster preparedness and survival skills are kicking in. And, um, the government is on full alert over the next few hours and days. Ana Santos in Manila, thank you very much. I know that the Philippines is bracing for a hazardous eruption. Just how prepared is the country for that? Thank you uh, for having me, uh, Haslinda. First and foremost, the, the, the Duterte administration is responding urgently to the immediate needs of those directly affected by the volcanic explosion and some accompanying tremors. Our number one priority is the safety and security of the families and communities that are directly vulnerable to this natural disaster. Evacuation started yesterday and are continuing as we speak with security, infrastructure, social welfare, and health agencies supporting local governments at the front lines. There are locations in the province of Batangas and its surrounding areas that have been the areas of ash fall since last night. Uh, we, are, we need to ensure the well-being of broader areas affected by the ash fall. Considering the direction of the wind, we know this will include uh, part of southern and central Luzon, as well as the national capital region. As of this uh, morning, Secretary more than 2,500... Yes. Yeah. Secretary yeah. Dominguez, it may be too early to assess the cost uh, of the damage. I mean, do you have any estimates out there? Are you concerned that it may uh, perhaps weigh on growth for the year? Uh, as of now, uh, we don't have any uh, assessment of the cost. However, we have in place a catastrophe bond that can be triggered by a one in 19 year event that may be the aftermath of the uh, Taal eruption. This one in 19 million year corresponds to a modeled loss of about 11 billion pesos. This loss would be similar to what was lost in the 1990 Luzon earthquake. So we are well prepared financially uh, to handle any uh, fallout uh, and damage from this uh, eruption. Secretary, it's uh, Richard in, uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, give us a sense of how much money you're putting aside at the moment for uh, in the emergency that, of course, this has created. Oh, uh, we have uh, at least uh, $50 million uh, already set aside, uh, but we don't believe, uh, uh, you know, this, uh, this number is anywhere really that accurate, but we have this uh, amount ready at the moment. Secretary, what about the human cost? That's fundamental here. What are you hearing on the ground at the moment about loss of life? Also, of course, the displacement of people here. These are all terrific individual uh, stories, if, if you will. As of now, we have no report of any uh, injuries or deaths. But as of this morning, more than 2,500 families or upwards of 10,700 persons were evacuated and are now in 45 evacuation centers. Evacuees are mostly from the provinces of Batangas and Cavite. Classes and work have been suspended in 118 cities and municipalities. We have received reports that operations in the seaport of Batangas remain normal, though flights are currently not coming in and out of our main airport in Manila. And that's for passengers. Safety. Secretary Dominguez. So so far, I uh, think yes. Do you expect more flights? Do you do you expect more flights to be suspended? Well, as of the moment, uh, there has been no lifting of the suspension, but some flights are uh, landing in uh, Clark uh, Air Base. Although some of those flights have been some flights have been suspended as well. I know that some other flights coming from the U.S. last night were diverted to Cebu, actually.